Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How to Calculate the Biological Half-Life of Paracetamol. All right, so what is paracetamol? Well, it's the same thing as acetaminophen, which is the active ingredient in Tylenol and a bunch of other painkillers. And here's its structure right here. So we've got an aromatic ring, alcohol group, and an amide group. And uh, as just part of the naming, the prefix para refers to the fact that on our benzene ring, we have two things and they're exact opposite of each other. So at locations one and four. So what is the biological half-life of paracetamol? Well, let's define biological half-life. The half-life of something is basically the time that it takes for half of the substance to break down in your body or to lose effectiveness. So if you take a pill of Tylenol, you have to wait a certain amount of time and then half of all of these molecules in your body will have been degraded by a protein or just dissolved in some way or broken down so that they're no longer effective. And the half-life is the general term that we use to determine how long a drug is good for in your body. So, uh, first of all, let's look at the regular dosage. So, it depends, uh, the half-life will depend on the dosage that you're taking because if you take a lot more, it might stay in your body longer than if you take a correct dosage. So a dosage of Tylenol is about a thousand milligrams every six hours or 650 milligrams every four hours. So this is the recommended dosage. And so our half-life, we actually can't uh, calculate it on our own or just randomly guess it. We really have to wait for scientists to do the experiments and then tell us. So that's the only way we can calculate these half-lives. So the half-life of paracetamol or acetaminophen or Tylenol happens to be around two to three hours. And as you can imagine, this really depends on how old the person is, uh, how much they weigh, how much they took, and then just how their individual body really works with the drug because some people could have a different amount of enzymes or other things that allow them to break down the drug. Uh, and so the way this was determined was just by a bunch of biologists taking blood samples and doing other experiments of people who had taken the drug and seeing with about half of it had left their body. I'm Robin Higgins and this is How to Calculate the Biological Half-Life of Paracetamol.